All right, TCS viewers, welcome back. It's Chris Nichols here from the Camera Store, and I'm here with Dave Paul, Thanks. also from the Camera Store, and we are just co-workers. <laughs> and uh, Dave, we're gonna have a competition today. I'm gonna we kick are. your butt on this. Um, you've got here the brand new Fuji HS20. Now, it's a pretty advanced camera. What's cool about something like this? Cool about something like this, it's very small, yeah. massive zoom range to it, Okay. very fast frame rate, very simple to use, full program, full manual. Right, I mean, a camera like this is actually quite advanced, and uh, I think a lot of the customers out there are gonna be wondering, like, What's the benefit of going up to something that's just a bit more expensive with an SLR? You know, where you get that fast frame rate, you get that really high image quality, the manual control. I mean, why not stick with something like this? So we're going to do a shootout today, right? We're going to find out. Absolutely. You've got 24 to 720 zoom range on this. So I have brought a similar SLR with a very, very similar lens range. Uh, I think it's still compact. I think we're going to make do, and uh, we'll see who wins. All right. I'm shooting a D700. In order to get the same zoom range as your HS20, I've got the Sigma 300 to 800 56, and I have to bring a 24 to 70 28 as well. All right, Dave. Now you might think I'm overcompensating, but how could I possibly lose this competition with a lens this big? Well, it is a big lens, but we have the same zoom range. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got the D700. This thing's famous for its high ISO, low light performance. It's bright outside, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to carrying this around all day. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to carrying this around all day. I mean, it doesn't weigh anything at all. It's look, I can one hand this thing. It's great. <laughs> And I'm gonna be fair to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna handhold this thing all day because I'm such a man. All right, let's talk a video. Damn it. <laughs> all right, Dave. Now we've got a fisherman here just downstream. We're gonna shoot the long range of our lens. And I think I got the advantage here, okay? Because <laughs> I got this 300 to 800. I'm gonna shoot this at 800 on full frame. Now you've only got 720 on your lens. It's close, but it's not quite there. And I mean, this long range stuff, that's what this kind of gear is made for. So I think I'm gonna win this one. It's gonna be an interesting comparison. Let's take, uh, let me try my first shot. Okay, I'm gonna put this down because it's heavy though. You go ahead. Good. What, already? Already. <laughs> okay. Now, I mean, you know, you've got the stabilization here. I'm just gonna hand hold this, but I think I can do it still. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. It's a little hard to You're starting get... to shake a little bit. Yeah, it's a, it's a little hard to keep the uh, autofocus point on here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, okay, here, come here. You stand here. All right. This is about all you're good for. <laughs> That's pretty primitive stabilization. <laughs> hey, stand still. Are you giving up already? You're actually very good as an inanimate object. <laughs> all right, I think I got that one. All Let's right. take a look. Okay, Dave, so we got some osprey up here on the tree. And uh, my camera can shoot six frames per second now. The Fuji can go about, what, 7.6 frames per second, this thing. It certainly can. It's good, but it's a little tougher to shoot action in flight shots. Okay. I mean, hopefully, my camera should have an advantage here. I mean, it's made for this kind of autofocusing. It's made for this fast action. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a better shot of these birds in focus here in the uh, sky. We'll see how many I get in focus compared to how many you get, okay? All right, let's see how it goes. I mean, this is a pain to hold, but... I mean, the D700 can like lock on to a subject and then follow it as it moves across the frame. It's actually looking very well. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, the autofocus is pretty quick on this, uh, but it's a little tougher to track with an electronic viewfinder for sure. How many are you getting here? Uh, I got about 1520. <laughs> what, in focus? <laughs> I've got about 1520 <laughs> in focus here, I think. Let's hope so. Well, let's take a look, see what you got. That was a good one. That one looks good. I got a whole sequence here of them. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You got one in flight? One? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a boat. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, it just follows this guy beautifully. I don't know, 30, 40. I mean, who's counting at this point, right? I beat you solid. <laughs> I gotta take a break, Dave. This already? Heavy. Yeah, already. Yeah, it's a pain. <laughs> How many times did you put your camera down today? Uh, none. Actually. Yeah. None so yeah. far. I barely feel it. <laughs> oh, hey. What about next challenge? Uh, we do uh, macro. Like this sign or something. Were you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I'll blast the one off right now. Well, what's the minimum focus of this on your camera? Like four inches? Um, about that, yeah. Um, let's see. Six meters. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna try and get a shot. All right. We'll see you in a while. Nope, not even close. Nope. <laughs> All right, there we 
we go. Dave, I think I think you won. Okay, Dave, so this bridge gives us a really good opportunity to test the 24 mil wide angles on our lenses, and I gotta give it to the Fuji. You know, it's crazy that you get a big zoom range like that, but you still get a 24 mil wide angle range. It's fantastic. For a camera like this size, to shoot 24, it's fantastic. Absolutely, it's rare to find. And it's gonna really push that background far away, make this bridge look a lot longer than it is. So, we'll also take this opportunity to test and see how our cameras handle dynamic range. Now, both cameras are famous for it. Full frame chip, you've got the active D-lighting here. Your Fuji's got that EXR chip. All Perfect. Right. All right. Really good down range. So we'll take one without here. Okay. See how it handles the contrast. Okay. And then nice and quick to switch over here. We'll try it with uh, dynamic range control on. Perfect. Here's some graffiti at the end of this bridge here. Let's take a shot of that. Well, I guess I'm changing lenses. All right. Ready? Nope. <laughs> Hang on. All right, Chris. We're on this fantastic bridge. I got another challenge for us. Okay. Sweeping panorama. It's a new thing. On, <laughs> yeah, sweeping panorama. It's a new panorama. thing on a lot of new cameras. Now, Fuji's unique that it actually does 360 degree panoramas. So let's go. Okay. There you go. Perfect. It's just gonna right. stitch it all together like that, hey? Stitch it all together. Jeez, look at that. That's fantastic. All right, your turn. Yeah, I can do this. All right. <laughs> I save this one for the end of the day. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, forget it. No. <laughs> no. I'm just gonna give that one to you. Yeah, this Fuji actually really handled that dynamic range really well, Dave, on that bridge. I'm impressed by that. You know, it is impressive, camera. actually, for that size of camera. Yeah, compared to a full frame. I mean, you know, looking at our competition here, Dave, I would say based on the ridiculous criteria you maybe do, like the sweet panorama and the macro, if we have to go by uh, successful shots, so it looks like you won this competition. So, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> well, it was a pretty ridiculous competition. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> pretty I mean, you know, what we expected happened. I mean, things like a full SLR with a big lens, it can certainly focus a lot faster than a point-and-shoot camera like the Fuji, and it can shoot sports and action much better. I mean, let, you know, the, the I don't think the point-and-shoots can quite do that kind of stuff well. well you know, it's, uh, it's a different beast on entirely. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, this was a pretty ridiculous competition. We're comparing $10,000 plus worth of heavy equipment to a under $500 camera. And much more handleable. Absolutely. Well, you know, that's the thing. I mean, uh, for the viewers at home, if a Fuji camera like this HS20 can really give somebody something they can walk around all day with in a park like we did, much easier to carry. You can do the macros, you can do the long range, you can do the wide angle. And with stuff like dynamic range being as impressive as that, you're not going to have a problem with landscapes and with quality of shot. It uh, actually took beautiful photos when the lights get it. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a fantastic camera. And like I said, it's very easy to use. I love the zoom range. It's so practical. Makes you want to shoot. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, yeah, you know, I've changed lenses, you don't have to carry a lot of gear. So, I mean, these bridge cameras can still be a really good option for someone who wants to start exploring photography. They want to get more into it, but they don't want to have to carry or invest into this very, very heavy equipment. So, a uh, very, very interesting competition. And uh, yeah, I'll give you this one. Maybe next time I'll beat you. <laughs> All right. All right. Good stuff, Dave. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Jordan from the Camera Store, and we just became a road dealer. Uh, couldn't have happened at a better time, because while we were out shooting by the river there, wind was terrible, uh, blowing all over the place. You can hear it in our in-camera audio. So we just took out the new blimp, the NTG2 microphone, and you can hear the sound difference is much better. Listen to the audio from the camera here. So I think I got the advantage here, okay, because I got this 300-800. And now check out the audio from the NTG2 in the blimp. I think I got the advantage here, okay, because I got this 300-800. It's a pretty amazing difference. So we got these in the store. Come take a look at them.